Hello, my name is Greg. I'm with Madison Pro Audio. Today I'm just highlighting one of the new features of the Q16. Um, we're going to look at the ducking feature that they just added in firmware update 1.7. Okay, so basically what I got set up here is I got some music coming into the board and I got my vocal coming into the board and then the main output of the board is going into the camera so that you guys can hear everything that I'm doing. <clears throat> so the way I'm going to show you this is I'm going to I'm going to send signal to the stereo input that's playing the music that you hear in the background. Um, and that signal is going to be my voice and when I do that it's going to turn down the music and that's called ducking. So this would be good for like speeches at a church or anything like that where you know you want to have some background music but you also want to have some speech and then you want that music to automatically turn down when um, pastor's talking or whoever's talking. And so in order to do this we want to go to the stereo input that the music is coming in on in this case it's stereo input 3 so we just select that and that previous screen had my vocal and you can see that there um, there's my signal coming into the board so let's go to stereo input 3 now and select it so right up here you can see stereo input 3 so we have this new feature over here called ducker and we have a ducker set up and um, and then to engage the ducker, you just hit ducker. But before that, we're gonna go to the setup screen. Um, and we wanna make sure that this too is not set to effects insert, but it's set to ducker insert. So we go to ducker setup. So to change the trigger input, you just go, not threshold, sorry. You just t tap trigger input. And if you wanted to change the input there, um, you could just do that. So you can trigger any, any input you want. From here. In this case we're going to use channel 16 because my vocals coming in on 16 and you can see the actual ducking happening right now um, in the gray but it's not actually working yet because we haven't actually turned it on. Um, basically there's some generic settings in here and I'll come back to that in a second but basically the attack is set at medium, the hold is set at medium and the release is set at medium and the depth is at 20 decibels. So. <clears throat> Let's go back for a second to the main screen and turn on the ducker. Okay, now the ducker's on and when I talk, the music gets quieter. So let's go back to ducker setup for a second. Okay, the attack is going to control how fast it comes in. So if I got it set to slow, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to come in. And then, and then fast, it comes in right away. Um, so let's, let's just set that to medium where it was. Now hold is the amount of time it holds for. And release is how fast it comes back in. So if you have a really fast release, the music's going to pop back in really fast like this. So if we have a fast attack and a fast release, the music comes right back in. So with the ducker, um, I like to have a slow release, give it kind of a minute to fade back up, like that. I like it to have a fast attack and a slow release, give it time to come back in. So the depth controls the amount of uh, volume it's actually attenuating. So when I have a 34 decibel depth, it's going down quite a bit. So if you didn't want it to be as drastic, you could set it to 13 decibels. And it would turn down a little bit, but not a lot. That barely sounds like it's working. So let's, yeah, it looks like around 18 to 20 is perfect. So 